So today we're going to talk about animal migration, and you'll learn what is animal migration, why do animals do it, what are their navigation skills used during it, what are types and examples of it, and lastly, why climate change is affecting animal migration. So what is animal migration? It's basically a movement of animal from one region to the other. It's mostly seasonal, but it's hard to find. So it mostly fulfills these three points. One, the movement should be of greater distance than where the animal normally travels within its home range. Two, the movement should be directional and purposeful. Three, the movement should have a defined beginning and end. Now, why do animals migrate? One, to look for better conditions to live or to hibernate. Two, to look for food. Or three, to breed and raise their young. Basically, to survive or reproduce. How do animals navigate during migration? These skills can be categorized in these seven points. One, genetics. Some scientists say migratory animals inherit migration routes from their parents. Two, landmarks or mental maps. Animals remember objects on roots just like elephants. 3. Sun, moon, and stars. Animals follow the orbits of sun and moon or stars which stay in the same place. Mostly birds do this. 4. Smell. Animals remember their way by scent like salmon to find the best breeding places. 5. Magnetic field. Some animals have magnetic stuff in their body and use it like a compass like pigeons. 6. Signaling and communication. Animals migrate in groups and help navigation like whales. 7. Ocean currents. Some young fish migrate by drifting with currents. Now, there are some types of migration we need to talk about. 1. Obligate migration. You must migrate to survive. 2. Facultative migration. It's optional to migrate. Now, there's also some classifying terms like these. 1. Seasonal migration. A species moving from one habitat to another in a year. 2. Tidal migration using tides. Circadian. Birds using circadian rhythm to know when to migrate. And 4. Deal. Deal means 24 hours. Fish migrate from the top of the sea to the daylight or twilight zone in a day. Now, there are some migration terms based on how animals behave. 1. Complete migration. All animals in the species migrate like arctic tern. 2. Partial migration. Some animals in the species migrate, some not, like American robin. 3. Differential migration. This species migrate differently for different groups, like different age groups or gender groups, like herring gulls. 4. Interruptive migration. This species migrates some years. Sometimes they don't migrate for other years, based on the environmental conditions they have, just like blue jays. Migration is found in all major groups of animals, from insects to crustaceans. Now let's look at some examples. 1. Birds. 80% of birds migrate in the water seasons for food and nesting locations. They use temperatures and changes in daylight to know when to migrate. If the birds are blown, of course, they're called vagrant birds. Then they use the magnetic material in their heads as compasses to get back on course. 2. Mammals. Mammals like elephants migrate all year. Some only in the dry season, though. They go and find water at breeding locations. Watering holes normally dry up, so they eat the water soaked in pieces of bark. Other mammal migrations include the wild beast migration. They move depending on environmental conditions, like towards rain. 3. Fish. Most fish migrate in short distances. Because if they migrate too long, they may end up in the same location. But some species like salmon move between freshwater and saltwater habitats, which is called salmon run. This is best for grizzly bears, bald eagles, and bald fishermen. No, no sport fishermen. Now, insects. Insect migration is most common in dragonflies, butterflies, and locusts. The craziest example is the globesima, or Pantala flopsins. It glows through a multi-generational journey for 18,000 kilometers from Africa to India. If it was as big as a human, it would travel around the Earth 17 times. Last thing we have to talk about is climate change, because climate change affects everything. A study by NASA shows Arctic eagles goes into migration about half a month earlier than it was 25 years ago. Climate change is rushing them to go faster, just because of a problem we caused. So we really need to protect the Earth. For objects like on a route, like no! No, 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 no. say migratory routes inherit migration routes from the parents. What do animals migrate then? 